Hello everyone, this video is a guide to the Beacon Network and on how to get your Inferno ads from it. If you're wondering about the requirements in terms of skills and quests, take a look in the description, I've got a full list there. The main requirement though is 92 fire making. As for the items you'll need, I've also got a list of those in the description and I'm showing them on screen here. It's very inexpensive. I put the absolute minimum requirements that I could think of here. You could improve it and make it a bit easier by getting things like Trollheim teleports, uh, the Goblin teleport spheres, and a few other things that I'll mention as we go along. But all of these are buyables, so I only spent about 75k on all the stuff that I needed to light all of the beacons to get the ads. So hopefully this will be the most helpful for the most people. Uh, but yeah, check the description if you want to look at alternatives, but there's really no need to. Uh, the other things I should mention before I get into it more, um, as you'll see in the guide, I use noted logs on these boxes by the beacons. That's a reward from the Elite Varrock Diary, and you will not be able to do that when you're first getting your ads, so don't worry about that. Um, you'll have to go around and put 20 logs in each of the beacons, before you go around and light them. So you'll take one trip through and you'll need to repair a couple things. I've got more info on that in the description. And then put 20 logs in each beacon. I'm doing this guide as if you'd put all of the logs in the beacon so far and you're just running around lighting them. So you start out in the one east of Trollheim. You could start out, if you have Trollheim teleports and you could start out pretty much wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. But I'm just doing minimum requirements. So this is if you don't have Trollheim teleports, you start out here, and then you run north to the God Wars one. And this is a bit tricky because if you don't remember a super restore potion, it'll drain your fire making level when you go through the ice area, which will not be good when you try and light fires. So you definitely want to bring at least one dose of super restore. Um, but yeah, then you just go up there, you light the fire, you go over the agility shortcut to the east and into the deeper wilderness. Just run directly north along the edge, along the wall to the west there, and you'll get to the next beacon. No trouble. Just go up there, light it, then continue north, go through the fence, and light the beacon all the way in the north. This is the highest fire making requirement one up there, and it requires 92 fire making. So, yeah, you definitely need a super restore up there if your fire making level got drained enough. And then you need to get out of the wilderness as quickly as possible. You can go west and go into the ice area there by the temple at Senesten, or you can go south and go through the teleport, um, the teleport things there, as I did in this video. As long as you get out of the wilderness, it doesn't matter. I highly recommend having a glory here. Not only does it allow you to get to the next beacon easily, but it also lets you teleport in level 30 or below wilderness, which is very convenient here. So now you'll be in Edgeville, just go north and light the beacon there. If you don't have all the teleports with you, if you didn't want to risk them, then you should bank and get them here. And then from here, it doesn't really matter where you go. So I'm just going to uh, play the video and show you the locations that I go to. It doesn't really make much difference because you're just teleporting from place to place. So the first beacon I'm going to go to uh, after those ones is the one by the Black Knight Fortress, and to get to that one I use a, uh, a combat brace to teleport to the monastery, although you're already in Edgeville so you don't really need to do that, but it's not like it costs much to buy a combat bracelet. So just run west into the mountain there, um, light the fire, pretty simple. Uh, from here this one is debatable. If you have Trollheim teleports then you should probably just run south from Trollheim, um, after you light the beacon that's in the eastern part of Trollheim, you should go over the agility shortcut into the wilderness and go south. Uh, but I'm just running north because it's easy enough. So you just go to the western edge of the wilderness and just follow it north until you find the beacon up here. And this is also one of the ones that you have to repair in advance, but still more on that in the description so you can just read it there. The next one is in Berthorpe, so that's the game stack list. Easy enough, they're pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, and you have to repair the ladder to get up to this one as well. So the next one here is the Goblin Village one. Just being able to do this one means that you've unlocked the requirement to be able to make Goblin Teleport Spheres. 
So you can tally right there if you have the time to make a sphere, it doesn't take much. So then I used a lumberyard teleport to do the lumberyard tally. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that allows me to get to three beacons relatively quickly, just following them in low level wilderness to the west. You could also use a wicked hood to teleport to the earth altar that's just right there, or you could use a dig site pendant. All of them teleport to a very close look, a very close area there, so it doesn't make much difference. And then these last two, it's just running east from the dig site or from the uh, lumberyard, whichever you tally to, and you just light them, and that's everything. So it took me about a little bit over ten minutes to light all the beacons, and maple logs have about a sixteen minute time that they last so there's very little chance that you wouldn't be able to do it on your first try as long as you have everything planned out a little bit well so um, if this guide helps you get your ads give it a thumbs up um, hope it, hopefully it's helpful and interesting and that's everything thank you for watching